going to be doing homemade cheesy puffs. Let's get started. It's time for the ingredients. You will need two hundred grams of plain pill, one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of paprika. cheddar cheese, thirty grams of parmesan cheese, sixty milliliters of water or as much as needed. Unsalted butter cubed. First, line your baking tray with some non stick baking paper and preheat the oven to 220 degrees. For this recipe, you will need a food processor. Here we go. Right. Now we need to split everything together. First, take your Flour, now a generous teaspoon of salt, a bit of paprika, Should 
be very fine, almost sand like, if you want to put it that way. Now you should have a breadcrumb like mixture. Take your water and and if you have a funnel at the top of your blender, take off the cap of the, that funnel and just pour water through there. Right. On turning it around and, and, and so that it doesn't get stuck. Because even with the flour it can still get stuck if, if you're putting too much pressure. You should keep it around about one centimetre thick. got there so I'm just going to do one more turn one more roll it. there we go now we're going to take our cheese puff mix or pastry And we're going to put it, pop it onto a sheet of baking paper. Which is going to go onto the board, onto a board. You need a board that's slightly larger than the pastry itself. Now you're going to need a sharp knife and just cut it into a square, slightly rectangular so that that's fine. Now I'm going to cut it into biscuit sized squares. Yes. There we go. There we go. 
go. Once you've cut your dough into squares or rectangles, put them into your preheated oven and cook them for 15 minutes or until they're golden brown. After 15 minutes, your cheese puffs should have risen and be golden brown like mine. Leave them to cool on a wide rack. This recipe is perfect if you're going out for a movie night, gaming, or if your friends are just dropping over. I'm going to try one. Mmm, they're really nice. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.